Hey guys, how you doing? So today we're going to calibrate the Edelbrock carburetor. Mine is a 1406 model. It's a four barrel. It's right under there. And this is the box that we're going to put it in. Or these are the components we're putting in. It's Edelbrock Performer Series Carburetor Calibration Kit. 1487 is the model number and it has these metering rods, springs, and jets inside. So first we're going to take off the carburetor which isn't too hard. So just the fuel line and I'm going to remove the four bolts and take it off. Alright guys, so I got the carburetor off. There it is. It's Edelbrock 1406. I'm going to be putting new jets, metering rods, and springs inside. So basically the Metering rods and springs go inside here and here. Then we're going to take all these bolts out that go around. And this will come off and halfway through we'll be able to adjust the jets. So let's start taking these screws off first. So let's take this in half and get to the jet. It looks like it's a Torx screw there. Hope you guys can see that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Torx screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off and we'll come back. Okay, so I've got all eight screws removed all the way around. As you can see, there they are. And they're the Torx. Now they are this size Torx which is a Torx T20. The other screws on here are this size Torx T18. So now once you take those off you have to get over here to take this little linkage off and on the other side, this linkage and the accelerator pump linkage here. So take those three linkages off, and then this will come up. And as you can see, I've already started to lift it. There's the accelerator pump spring and whatnot. So here we go. Okay, so I pulled off all three linkages, and here's what's holding them on. It's these little cotter pins. And, you know, it's pretty basic. They go in there, cotter pin goes on the other side. So I removed all three, now we're taking the top off. Very carefully remove it. And here is the inside. So these are the bowls here. And the jets is down here there's one and on the other side there's one and if you can see closely there it's a flathead type bit so we're gonna go ahead and take those jets out right now and that's it 
So we're going to go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the contents. This is the calibration kit. Basically, these are the contents in here. I have them all numbered because when you open them, they're not numbered and the numbers are so tiny on these rods, you can't even see it. I had to take a magnifying glass to get the numbers off. The numbers match these up here, which is on the little checklist. So it basically comes with metering rods, jets, and a set of springs. And also these little attachments which attach the rods to the springs. So let's go ahead and remove the jets in the carburetor, which there's a close-up of some jets right there. Alright, so we're going to take the right jet off here. And I simply have a flat head that I'm going to get on there. And these jets are really small, so you don't want to drop it down there. So, there's one jet out. You can see there's the little hole. These jets control the amount of fuel that goes into the carburetor. Now, we're going to take off the left side. Alright, so here's the two jets I'm going to put in. They were the original ones before I adjusted it. So, let's go ahead and put them. And once again, they use flat heads. And it's just the same process as before. Just put it in the bowl in there, right there, tighten them down, and we'll come back. Okay, so I put the jets back in, there and there. Now I'm just going to put the carburetor back together. If you see there, that little needle, and that little needle, those are the metering rods, and that's what we're going to adjust next. There's the accelerator pump right there, and then that little box there and that box there are the floats, which I've already adjusted. They're fine, so I'm just going to put this back together. Okay, so it's back together again. You can see there. I don't have the bolts in, but I'm going to put them in last. Now, we're going to be taking off these, which are the little caps that hold the metering rods and the springs. Very important things about this is you do not want to fully remove this screw so it's the little torx and you just loosen it up and you'll see the lid there rising a little bit and you should be able to just slide it to the side as you do watch what happens boom there's the metering rod and springs there it is the metering rod the spring fell off it's right here it goes like this and there's what it looks like let's take off the other one real quick once again just loosen it do not fully remove this cap just Twist it to the side, boom, it pops right out. There it is. And those are the metering rods and the springs. Okay, so here are the originals. I'm going to put back in metering rods, springs, the little holders. Here's the ones I just removed. So I'm going to take off this little aluminum cap, which is held in by this. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I took them apart. I'm going to try to show you how I can put them back together here. Alright, so we're going to put the rod and spring back together. You see that little tiny hole in the tip there? That's where this end of the rod goes through. And there's a tiny notch on there. 
So when you put it through there, this little spring gadget here will hold it on. So we'll put the spring on here first, get it lined up, and then you basically just compress it and hold it, peel it back, and then you put the end of the rod through the hole and release the spring. When you release the spring, it will be on there and you can't get it off. And then you take your spring, put it in there, and that's a complete setup. And you do this twice. All right, there are my two new ones. There are the old ones. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in, and it's the same as the original order. Basically, some more light. And you just put it in there. Sometimes the screws or the springs fall out. That's all right. Just put it back in and drop it down in. Make sure the spring is underneath this little cap. And if you have it right, it will go in there and you can push down very easily with no resistance. And all you have to do is thumb this cap over very gently and it seals up. You don't have to force it. You don't have to do anything crazy. And you simply snug it back up. It doesn't have to be very tight as long as it's just sealed. And then you can just move your finger around, make sure there's a very good seal there, which there is. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, there it is. Push it a few times, make sure the spring's good and everything's fine. If everything's fine, just when it's fully when it's fully engaged there, you can simply slide this little lid over. Sorry, you get a better view. The lid and then snug it up. It's off a little bit, so I'm just going to back it up, let it reseat. You want a really nice seal here. Snug it up, and that's very good. So, the metering rods and springs are inside. The jets are replaced in, inside. And now I'm just going to put the bolts back together, and we're finished. Okay, so I'm finishing tightening up the screws here. Got all eight screws in. Now, we're just going to hook the linkages back up using the cotter pins, which are still laying right there. They're very tiny, don't lose them. One linkage, two linkage, and the third linkage over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to hook up the linkage here. This is the accelerator pump here. Sometimes you have to manually push it down and kind of hold it up while you put this in. I put it in the center notch there. Okay, when it's in the center notch like that, you simply take the cotter pin and 
and put it on. As you can see, maybe. There's the buttoned up linkage with the little cotter pin inside. So we'll do the same thing for that linkage and the same thing for the other one. Hey guys, so the linkages are all fixed up. It's buttoned up. Got the gasket on. <laughs> All we have to do now is put it back on the truck and it's good to go. As you can see, this whole process maybe took me 30 minutes max. And I replaced the jets, springs, and metering rods, which is the complete calibration and adjustment for this carburetor. So you don't have to be intimidated. It was only eight Torx screws. The jets were flatheads and these are little Torx and they pop right out. So this is a really simple adjustment just because it's a four barrel don't be intimidated okay guys so that was it basically calibrating my Edelbrock brock 1406 carburetor by changing the springs metering rods and jets it took 30 minutes it's back on the truck hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions about the install let me know I've done this maybe three or four times now. It's getting pretty routine, but if you have any ideas or questions or comments, please post them below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.